So you can either get an idol at these statues or a scepter later, and that will be helping in our going to places. <laughs> so this room is pretty gross. Yeah, I just I just realized, which is a nice touch, with uh, Jennifer's color palette, like her sprite actually changes color slightly depending on whether it's a dark room or light. Mm hmm. She has uh, she has some. Yeah, it, there's some good attention to detail for sure. Mm -hmm. So in that crow corpse there, we found a key. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what the key is for. For it's the cage key. Oh right. So we're actually going to go let that bird out. Thank you, I'm glad you saw that. <laughs> um, if because if you can hear, there's something flapping around, yeah. and that is a bird. And that can come in useful later. Whether it does or not, I've always found it's kind of random, but... Oh, okay. Who knows? Ooh. So we let that bird out. I guess maybe that explains where the random bird's nest comes from. Maybe it was a bird that escaped. Okay. Yeah, I, I think you're right, actually. Maybe that's why I didn't find it too weird. <laughs> <laughs> and these are all rats. Okay. And if I open up, fish. I believe the rats just run away. But or yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say they were going to come attack you and eat you or something. I I probably should have saved, but you know I'm a wild woman. I I am surprised that they didn't attack you. Quite honestly, just because that seems like a thing they would do where. I guess kind of like the, the bird nest puzzle where they give you two options and one is the wrong one. Yeah. That would be pretty awful, wouldn't it? But no, they, they restrained themselves this time on that. <laughs> so we're going to head down this way. Although I don't believe there's anything down this hall that's going to be useful to us. But Are there any instant deaths in this game? Like, I know there's the scissor man, but if is there something like if you do X, then you just die? Um, there's a few. You can actually get eaten by a guy at one point, um, depending on the route you take. Okay, so there's nothing in here that's going to be useful. Bobby could still <laughs> technically be lying under that bookshelf. We can't really see. You say root like an American. Bobby. Route, root. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so ashamed of you. Hey, I grew up with an American mother. <laughs> so ashamed of you even more now. Ah. It's in your blood, the curse bloodline of Americans. I'm pretty sure there are Americans watching this LP. If we're lucky. No. There's probably nobody watching this they, LP. Let's no, be honest. No one will care. <laughs> it's true. Alright, so we're going this way now. I don't remember what's down here, if there's anything. No, there is not. This is kind of a crapped out room. Yep. Most of the rooms that look like that, that you go into, you can't do shit all in. There is one where you can actually, like, progress. Hmm. And that will actually take you to another death. Oh, okay. Not your death, but a death of your Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, maybe we'll show some of those later. Okay, so this room, conceivably, and I'm going to save here because this might also go badly for us. Um, this room could have this one of the items we need. Or, and it should because the there was no idol. This should be where we find our scepter. Oh, okay. So there's like only two like. Oh, wait. I should not be playing this piano. Oh, oh. Well, we're going to do it anyways. Let's just say that we should do it for the sake of the LP. Oh, okay. I was, Nothing happened that time. I was kind of expecting more than her just pressing, like, two keys. Yeah, um, sometimes he will hop down from the ceiling and just oh. fuck your shit up. Only junk. Is that... Is that just the edge of a curtain? Is that someone's feet? Oh, okay. It's just yeah, the edge. edge of the curtain. That would be creepy as hell, though. Oh! oh damn it! Oh, so, so he didn't hop uh, down. So it is. I do have to go find that idol. Didn't seem to be there. What is this? Are we just gonna like? Well, we could reload. Eh, let's reload. There's no point in doing this. Eh. All right. The LP where we're super lazy. 
Okay. So we're just gonna, ugh, we'll continue on for now, but we're gonna have to go back and get that idol at some point. What a pain in the butt that is. And the idol is hidden in the statues somewhere? Or yes, is, okay. in one of the statues, if I'm remembering correctly, which as we have Ooh. shown. So this room. Spooky music just started to play. Yeah. So a pentagram on the floor. Um, Solid odd ways. This room will be important later, so actually why don't we just come back later. What is that banner? Is that like it's? A, it a looks dude. like a centaur, maybe. I don't know. He had he had like a it was like a skeleton riding something. Oh, maybe it know. was like one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Uh, maybe, just one. Okay, you can't select this door. That's normal. Oh, I don't really know why they put the door there and didn't. I don't know. We'll call lazy development. I guess. Yeah, because you're not even able to click on it and be like, the lock is broken, like a Silent Hill kind of thing. Yeah, it's just... And it doesn't make any sense to me, because there is a door, actually, which you would have seen while we were faffing around earlier, that just says that it's stuck. Hmm. So why not have two stuck doors? It's a mystery. I guess the one nice thing about them setting uh, the game in a mansion is that you are able just to kind of copy paste doors and windows to create the different hallways. It probably helps the development a bit there. Probably. Okay, so that will actually take us back to a room we have been to before, which is good. But let's check out what's over here. Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> there might not be anything. Oh, there is, there is a staircase. Yeah, that's the crappy staircase that looks unsafe. Most of the staircases look unsafe, let's be reasonable here. <laughs> and if I recall, if we go up there, we are just going to be getting to the um, mannequin room. So we've done full circle. There shouldn't really be anything in this room. Oh, there is some ambient music. It Yeah, it sounds... There is a couple bloops. And what sound like what sounded like animals, sort of. So maybe the ghosts of those mounted animals are getting a little testy. It's possible. There's nothing in that door. All right. In the, I forget if it's the Wonderswan version, but there is actually a body that can fall in you. Oh. That will come out of there. Like the body of one of your friends? No, or? just oh. a random, like, mummified body. All right. Yeah. It's not really explained. It's another great mystery of the franchise. So was it was that version a earlier version or a later I version? I believe a later version. Okay. I think it's the Wonderswan color that I am thinking of. So I guess maybe they just added, wanted to add in another scare somewhere. Yeah, just give people a little more value for their money by one randomly occurring thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, this was before YouTube. You weren't able just to like go and Google search like what does the body that falls out look like? That's true. I have to know. I heard they added it in the new version. I'm such a fan. We're going to sit down and have a bit of a rest here. All right. Um I've actually been really tempted to try and play the Wonderswan color version. Mm -hmm. Um every year pretty much at uh, the comic convention that we have in our lovely city there has been a wonder swan color for sale and a copy of clock tower <laughs> it's seeing it's just it's calling out to you it is but i feel like i can't justify it because i've played this game so much wow. and i don't understand japanese anyways oh it's not patch it's oh, not patch so I it see. would just be japanese so, I mean, the only thing that would really help me there is I would get to see a body. You'd be able to, I guess you'd have nerd cred to be able to say, oh, I have, I totally have Clock Tower. I guess that's true. I don't, uh, I don't know. On one hand, I'm like, yeah, nerd cred. On the other hand... Uh, nerd cred is everything, okay? It's is just it? like internet points. It's very valuable. Do you that's why we're that's why we're doing this LP so we could get more internet points. Oh jeez. And nerd credits. I feel like this will earn us negative internet points. Well, that's what happens when they watch it. If we just tell people we have an LP, yeah, we're good. But you know, as soon as they hit play and they, we'll just be like, no, d d no, no, uh, no. Well, it's, trust us, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's amazing. You should watch it. All right. 
So we have a few keys. I can't remember if we have the library key in specific, but we're gonna check. No! Okay, we're actually gonna go to the kitchen. <laughs> so hard. Um, which, I mean, we do need to make a stop at the kitchen, so it works out, but, yes, and Jennifer, entirely. sometimes she's just hard to control. Yeah, she kind of seems to, it's almost like you're driving a car, you can't stop immediately. It's almost like she needs to walk a few extra steps before she registers it. And I guess I wonder if that's the emulator, or if that's just the original game. It's possible either way. Now, conceivably here, there's no way Jennifer would think to use an insecticide on the refrigerator. Yeah. But that it's... way we don't get attacked by horrifying bugs. Yeah, it's one of those things that I kind of don't like in games because it relies on you having died there to know what to do. Which you as the player, that's fine, but as the character, it doesn't make a lot of sense that they're able to go. It's true. So I'll just be prepared with this can of... In case. Insecticide. Just in case this meat locker is full of horrible bugs. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess to be fair, you can survive that encounter there. Oh, you it's just like have just to smash the panic smashing. button oh, and you okay. lose. I just didn't bother doing it because it just it's a waste of health. So if you if you mash the panic button, does she like close the fridge door and then you know to go get the insecticide? to come back? I think it's something along those lines. I honestly can't remember. Like, you don't lose the the key, I think, is something that we picked up. Yeah. Now let's just see if we have the key for here. We do. Oh, it's the gold key is the one we just got. Right, so now... Oh, Miss Mary. And yes, she is indeed blonde while her icon is brunette. Yep. You can see that none of them really match up. So now we are wise to Miss Mary's game, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, good. We can... No, Turn Jennifer, off the light. No. <laughs> Jennifer, no! I'm uh, so glad I uh, saved. Uh, oh, oh, that fucked her spread what? up. What? I, I, okay. Oh. I'm glad we got to see that. Yes. What? I guess. All right, Dead. we're going to have to reload. That was, uh, that was a, a comedy of errors. Ah. Uh. Uh. back after my amazing <laughs> amazing failure at life we may or may not edit this part out yeah we'll we'll see because what what uh items do we have mm. we have to go do the insecticide part again but other than that we're pretty much golden do so. we have the insecticide we sure do we got that I earlier i did not recognize what item it was in the inventory there it's the uh, canny thing the ah. green stripies <laughs> The so the can itself is black. This oh, one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's I see. It's just not highlighted. It's, yeah, so. it's it's kind of grayed out a bit. I can't believe, and I managed to glitch the game out beautifully. Like, yeah. I don't like that you can just apparently go turn off the light switch when there's like that's pretty great. a dude after you. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Because awesome. I think what happened, yeah, we like switched her to her like dark colors or like her sans lighting colors when we turned off the light but then for some reason we turned the light back on again like did you double click the light switch maybe i can't really recall either way we managed to glitch it out pretty cool <laughs> all right so now we're heading back slowly jennifer is thinking about life no sense of urgency in this one so i guess at this point in the game so jennifer knows that one of her friends is dead um, she has heard some of her friends scream. She mm -hmm. doesn't know which one, but she still thinks that maybe there's a chance they're alive. We know that Miss Mary is, uh, the mother of Scissorman and Scissorman's twin brother, who we haven't seen yet, unless they're both Scissorman. Gives us the possibility. Well, you know, maybe that's, oh, that, that'd be interesting, actually, if that was how... Because I, I, know, I know part of the game, so I know it's not true, but it'd be interesting if, like, that's how they explained the teleportation. Oh, yeah, was that, there's just two of them. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're both Scissor Man. Ah, I should go back in time and be a designer for this game. You should have. There could have been triplets, even. Oh, damn! Right? <laughs> how is Quid it? Quintuplets. Just have, just yeah, just going. quintuplets. <laughs> Five Scissor Men. Well, four. Quit. You know. <laughs> Quit spoiling the game. Quartuplets? Quartets? Um, Quart 
I, I actually don't know how you do uh, quartuplets. Yeah, yeah. Quartuplets. Quart what? Quart quart what? Uh, what? Moving else? on. <laughs> All right. This is important shit. <laughs> All right, so we didn't actually lose too much, which was mm -hmm. kind of nice. Um, so we're just going to jog back. All right. This is a very roomy kitchen. I just noticed. It, yeah, it's pretty spacious, as befitting of a mansion. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Like, if I were Jennifer, I would just take one of those frying pans and just carry it everywhere. Yeah, like, try and arm yourself somehow. But she's not too concerned with that. Yeah, like, it's one of those things that a lot of the times they want you to be completely helpless um, to make it more... Frightening? Know. Yeah, but Aww. it's kind of like, well, if I was a real person in this uh, situation, even if you can't find a gun, I think you would probably grab a knife and at least carry it with you. If anything, make yourself feel better. Since at least I have something. Oh! Oh! She's not here now. Oh, shit. That's that weird. That phone is ringing super loud now. Okay, why don't we go answer that phone? So is why it, is she uh, suddenly not here? That's really weird. A goblet or something on the uh, table has been recently... Uh, okay, so, so we get a key. That's pretty good. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I guess Mary showing up is kind of random. This might affect the ending we get. So we use the... The, ooh, spooky. Too spooky for you. Oh, too spooky. So we, we <laughs> used the gold key on a room that we entered to get the silver key. Yep. So presumably we are going to find a room with the silver key and get the bronze key. That would make too much sense, and unfortunately oh. it's not going to happen. I'm oh, going to avoid... phone is ringing again. <sighs> so spooky. I'm going to avoid checking that suit of armor because... And I don't believe it can happen this time. Because we saw Laura die already. And I don't think you can find Anne in there, but you can find uh, Laura. In... She's stuffed in. Yeah, she is. That takes a lot of a lot of dedication. It really to, does. To dress up a dead body in a suit of armor. And yet it, it seems like the kind of thing they do here. Is that meant to be, I guess, in Clock Tower, or like the struggle within is... Because I believe in the first level there is a zombie dude in a suit of armor that is wandering around. Is that meant to be a reference to this? Oh man, that would be such a thin reference though. Mm -hmm. Like, it would, that would be so, like, tenuous. <laughs> I, uh... you, never, you never know. Sometimes they they do do that to... Maybe instead of instead of making the game feel thematically or making the atmosphere feel the same as the predecessor in the series, they do a tenuous reference, and I think that that's enough of a throwback. It's yeah, I mean that's possible for sure. I guess. Um, mm -hmm. That suit of armor is such a weird thing. <laughs> there, there's actually a part in the game that it will just like. I don't even know how, but if you play the game in a certain way, you'll just be in this random spot and the suit of armor will just fall on you and you're not even in the same house anymore. It's awesome. It just falls from the sky and oh. you die. And that's one of your endings. What? I don't understand. <laughs> it was just kind of bizarre. Okay, so we're going to save because I'm pretty sure that nothing will happen, but um, the reason that I was confused about what was where, now let's see, this is an uh. important room. And this might actually be be why we couldn't get the idol before. Oh, we, we might have seen... to select it here. Oh, I could be wrong. Um, so perhaps kind of like um, we we like like the pushing the crate thing. We needed to investigate something first before another option became active to us. Yes, exactly. So now we can see that part of the mural is hidden behind the shelf, and yet Jennifer still doesn't want to look at the rest of the mural, so I guess that's okay. So we might not even need to do that at this point, so we're we, going to read the book. We see people praying to a smoky cloud with like a weird uh, horned cow thingy, maybe, and there is a crow or a raven or something there, so I don't know, presumably whatever is involved with this ritual thing you need the ravens for. So you can see here, I'm looking at this weird note. Time will cause adherence. So this is a hint that getting the clock tower working again will probably help you out. Hmm. So, OK. 
can we move the shelf? We can't. I don't know if we're going to be able to. It might not be part of this playthrough. Stuff happens randomly in this <laughs> game and we'll... Piece of paper. Yep, so this is just telling us that we need idle. To get the idol. Yeah, alright, so that's telling uh, us it's in the statue. So now we'll probably be able to get it. So a tree is in a forest, person in a crowd, or something like that. So obviously that is a hint to something. Not as much as you'd think, but perhaps. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, not as much as you think, but perhaps. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe. Alright, so the reason, as I was saying before, and just kind of dithered off into my own little world, um, the reason that I was confused about where the library was is there are rooms in this game that switch uh, based on your playthrough. Oh. So, yeah, there's a lot of ways that playthroughs become unique, and yet they're never in terribly plot-moving ways, just in how you proceed through the game. Hmm. So we're going to go back into the West Wing. And go find those statues. At some point, we're going to sit down and have Jennifer rest because she's looking tired again. But once we have that idol, we can proceed on with the game. Then we'll have to hightail it back to that room we saw with the scary music. and. Oh, yeah, the sp spooky room. Yeah. Not the animal room, but the other spooky room. So again, kind of hearkening back to... So Jennifer knows uh, one of her friends is dead. Uh, two others are still missing, and Miss Mary is somehow in on all of this shit going on. Uh, her dad died as a, or I should say was murdered as a result of delivering the children who are now stalking her. Uh, so yeah, I guess this is now a revenge mission? Or is she still just kind of... What, like, what's her motivation for continuing her search here? It's hard to say, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think she's looking for her friends. Still. Mm -hmm. She still needs to get out of the situation. Yeah. Um, she's looking for her friends, her father. It could be partially revenge motivated for mm -hmm. continuation. But I think she's also just looking for her friends. I do kind of wish that maybe uh, it referenced her friends more. Um, you know, kind of brought like reminded you of them every so often maybe you find items of theirs just just to again give her like try and give her more motivation to trying to find them you know if that if that is the reason why she's still hanging around um because at, at this point she kind of knows what's going on like i guess i'd be curious too if like with the car mm -hmm. um if maybe the ending to that changed uh, with every bit of information you learned throughout the game. And see, that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if they had maybe the budget for that kind of... Yeah. yeah. It's hard to say. So we're going to be checking all the statues. And there Bam. we go. It's... In its bosom. A dude... Crouching with the. Is that other people hanging on to him? I suppose. It's kind of hard to tell. Clinging on to him a bit. Apparently, there's a cross at the bottom. Oh, I didn't see I, it. Yeah, I was not looking if it, there is. It, that's just what the text said, but I saw mm -hmm. a skull. Maybe the cross is underneath the skull. It's hard to say. There might have been misinformation between the design team. <laughs> there could have been a translation error yeah, in the patch. True. I mean, there are many possible variables. Yeah. Here. So now we are looking for the ceremony room, which I believe is this way. If I'm remembering correctly. This way. Come on, Jen. Jennifer is never terribly concerned. I'm not gonna lie too, knowing that uh, Scissor Man will only show up if we deliberately trigger him. Uh, it does take a lot of the kind of stress off playing this game. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I mean, if you were playing this game blind, then obviously you might be a little more worried. Like, oh God, what if I click on the wrong thing and he appears? Oh. 
Mm-hmm. But if you, even if you just kind of look up, okay, what are the trigger points for him? You could just kind of go into the game prepared, knowing not what to not click on. And then oh, I think I went too far. I think it was back that away. Oh, music started. Oh, well then it's really good that we got out of there because I'm pretty sure yeah, that would uh, now it's faded away. It would be bringing Scissor Man, and quite frankly, at this point, we just don't have time for his bullshit. So, do you think they bothered to like try and homeschool him at all? Um, I think they were probably just like, here is the flesh of babies and just roll with it. I think that was probably the extent of his schooling. Why did they, they got him like the little school uh, I, outfit. I almost said girl outfit. <laughs> little school boy outfit, I guess. Am I, am I remembering correctly? I'm pretty sure the ceremony room was on the first floor. You are asking the entirely wrong person. Damn it, you were watching. Oh, I've had my eyes closed the entire time. Okay, so it's not here. That would be like you. Mm-hmm. Closing your eyes just to make I'm life I'm picturing myself commenting on a far better LP. <laughs> With a far more interesting person. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Who's not just, like, uncertain of what to do every four seconds. All right. I think I'm doing okay for not having remembered. Just watch. I'll get the first. I'll get like the S ending first try. Okay, so this is not it. We're gonna be walking around looking for the ceremony room for a little bit. Is there a certain action that you have to do or not do to get the S ending? Like, how hard is it? Is it involved or is it? Um, it's basically just following the same steps for the A ending. I can't remember the variation. Hmm. I've always, I got the S ending by entire accident. Oh. Like I was just going for the A or B ending. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember. And I just somehow got it.